Echo Park and Annual NCAA and Club Soccer Showcase. And let me tell you, this has been something. Taos Echo Park ladies on tap for today. This is the fourth game out of the six that we have planned for today. We just recently just saw the Air Force Academy face the Highlands University. And Air Force Academy came out with a win there, 1-0. to zero. Also, uh, earlier on, Adams State College took on a... 18-year-old New Mexico rush team and beat them three to nothing. Also, the Air Force Academy faced the Lewis College and they managed to tie up there. So that was the extent of the games today. So it's been that kind of game. The weather and Rio Vista on the move right now, looking. For the outlet pass to the left side, didn't get, got blocked out of the way. And then some hard-nosed action here as they'll try to move on the inside, not trying to get that offsides and trying to get over on the offensive end too quickly. And then there goes the pass. And the ball will be kicked out of bounds on our end as that will stay with Fort Lewis College. And Fort Lewis will get the ball here at the left end on their offensive side of the field. They'll bring it in quickly and control here by Fort Lewis College and some inside outside stuff and then it's cleared away by Rio and then again Fort Lewis with another steal and then some stuff on the inside. Nice pass there. Nice control and then they'll get it on the other side of the field and Fort Lewis College playing some good soccer right now. They're playing some good controlled passing. So here we go. Rio with the steal. And a pass. And that's going to go way too far. And Fort Lewis will let that one roll out of bounds and they'll get the ball right back. Sure, it looks like uh, we have substitution coming up. It, uh, it looks like most of the, the play so far has been in the center third of the field, uh, both teams being very diligent in their defense, holding their lines on the back on the back line, and uh, looks like Fort Lewis is going a little more direct, meaning uh, straight forward, and Rio's playing a little more laterally, side to side, trying to find the open spaces. So now the, Air, the Fort Lewis team ready to bring it in here. They get a big jump on the ball, a header by the Rio just trying to steal it away, and then it's kicked out of bounds once again and it stays with Fort Lewis College. Also, this, this field, of course, is high altitude training for a lot of schools coming from sea level, so we're open for that. And uh, Joel Israel, one of the founders of this thing, and puts together the, I'm assuming, the players and and teams that come to Taos. And Joel, give us a little bit of your perspective on how that uh, all comes to be. Well, we've been, for the last two years, programming uh, NCAA events here. Last year it was uh, UNM, the UNM Lobos men's team versus the Denver Pioneers. This year we have two different weekends. We have a ladies weekend, which we're looking at right now, and we have the men's weekend next weekend. So the Programming is being expanded. Last year, two NCAA teams. This year, eight NCAA teams. And for those teams that uh, want to train and participate in a tournament atmosphere in the Southwest region, this is a great venue to come out and show your stuff. And uh, the community really loves it, supports it fantastically, and we definitely encourage uh, the expansion of this type of tournament atmosphere. And you know, even even though the weather is kind of, woo, wow, cold and, you know, kind of doing its thing, we still get a good turnout. I think just the mere fact that we have NCAA teams in Division One and Division Two, it just makes it so much more exciting. Gets a, this community an opportunity to look at some really, really good teams, especially teams like the New Mexico men's team in the Lobos. They have been ranked number one last year in a couple of different polls, so... Man, it doesn't get any more exciting than that. Oh, it's great. In fact, here's a great cross and a little bit slipped by the keeper, but she gains control and now Rio comes out with it. 
So yes, uh, the men's NCAA information out there. This is a university playing against a club soccer team from Albuquerque. And Israel, you know, these things are really exciting. We talked with uh, some of the ladies earlier on. They think this is a fantastic way of getting to play against the college team. Absolutely. The team. We'll be playing uh, university ball next year. Uh, committed to Syracuse, Cornell. Uh, I think we heard uh, some other universities as well in the earlier. And uh, very capable of uh, not much difference, really, between uh, the Rio Vista girls and just a year separation. But yeah. uh, some of these girls uh, definitely having some skill, and there's, there's a good ball played into the box. And of course, off that corner, which is very dangerous in ladies soccer, is the corner kick is one of the areas where they think they can score a goal, trying to get the header for it. And there's a tough play right in front of us right here. Very excited. And Rio Vista on the move right now, looking for the outlet pass to the left side. Didn't get, got blocked out of the way. And then some hard-nosed action here as they'll try to move on the inside, not trying to get that offsides and trying to get over on the offensive end too quickly. And there goes the pass. And the ball will be kicked out of bounds on our end as that will state with Fort Lewis College. And Fort Lewis will get the ball here at the left end on their offensive side of the field. They'll bring it in quickly and control here by Fort Lewis College. And some inside outside stuff and then it's cleared away by Rio. And then again Fort Lewis with another steal and then some stuff on the inside. Nice pass there. Nice control. And then they'll get it on the other side of the field and Fort Lewis College playing some good soccer right now. They're playing some good controlled passing. So here we go. Rio with the steal. And a pass. And that's going to go way too far. And Fort Lewis will let that one roll out of bounds and they'll get the ball right back. Sure, it looks like uh, we have substitution coming up. It, uh, it looks like most of the, the play so far has been in the center third of the field. Uh, both teams being very diligent in their defense. Holding their lines on the back on the back line and uh, looks like Fort Lewis is going a little more direct, meaning uh, straightforward, and Rio's playing a little more laterally, side to side, trying to find the open spaces. So now the Air, the Fort Lewis team ready to bring it in here. They get a big jump on the ball, a header by the Rio just trying to steal it away, and then it's kicked out of bounds once again, and it stays with Fort Lewis College. Also, this, this field, of course, is high altitude training for a lot of schools coming from sea level, so we're open for that. And uh, Joel Israel, one of the founders of this thing, and puts together the, I'm um, assuming, the players and, and teams that come to Taos. And Joel, give us a little bit of your perspective on how that uh, all comes to be. Well, we've been, for the last two years, programming uh, NCAA events here. Last year it was uh, UNM, UNM Lobos men's team versus the Denver Pioneers. This year we have two different weekends. We have a ladies weekend, which we're looking at right now, and we have the men's weekend next weekend. So the programming is being expanded. Last year two NCAA teams, this year eight NCAA teams. And for those teams that uh, want to train and participate in a tournament atmosphere, in the southwest region this is a great venue to come out and show your stuff and uh, the community really loves it supports it fantastically and we definitely encourage uh, the expansion of this type of tournament atmosphere and you know even even though the weather is kind of woo, wow cold and you know kind of doing its thing we still get a good turnout i think just the mere fact that we have ncaa teams in division one and division two it just makes it so much more exciting gets a this community an opportunity to look at some really really good teams especially teams like the new mexico men's team in the lobos they have been 
ranked number one last year in a couple of different polls. So, man, it doesn't get any more exciting than that. Oh, it's great. In fact, here's a great cross and a little bit slipped by the keeper, but she gains control and now Rio comes out with it. So, yes, uh, the men's NCAA teams this year will be the Lobos versus Air Force Academy Falcons. Jeremy Fishbein and his Lobos uh, will be coming up for the second straight year. Jeremy Fishbein has had a, a camp here in Taos for many years and really likes the atmosphere of Taos. Uh, comes up here often and supports the community of Taos in a fantastic way. So we're really uh, very grateful for everything Jeremy does for the town of Taos. Absolutely, and of course, uh, Jeremy Fishbein with a couple of players from Taos last year on the roster, and we got to see Patrick Pacheco last year do his thing here coming home, and that's really a good thing uh, that our uh, local uh, soccer players can go out and get a Division One scholarship and play in that level. Yeah, you know, it's amazing. It's a very small community, relatively speaking, in the United States, but it produces a, a disproportionate amount, in a good way, a disproportionate amount of uh, soccer talent here. Michael Hensley has a wonderful skills program here in Taos, uh, has been running it for about a decade, and it's wildly successful. So Patrick Pacheco uh, and Robin Grossman, frankly, the uh, assistant coach of the Women's Air Force team this year, uh, came through that program as well, and uh, we also have others playing in D1 and D2 schools, and some that are just about to emerge. Exactly, and one that we think is really going to emerge is Zoe Hensley, part of that uh, really Hensley sort of domain here in Taos that really does the soccer thing very well. Oh, the Hensley family is fantastic. They never ask anything from anyone and are always the first ones to step up, volunteer, and provide support to the soccer community and the community at large. So uh, thank you very much, Michael, Faith. Zoe, good luck with it. Yeah. Uh, we hope you the best. We wish you the best in uh, D1 soccer. We know you're going to pick a good school, and someone will be very happy to have you on their squad. Absolutely. So now the Rio team trying to get something happening here. We got about a minute 50 and ticking in the first half of play between the Fort Lewis College and the Rio Vista club team from Albuquerque. Zero to zero is the score right now, and with these uh, sort of games, uh, one goal could be the deciding winning goal, as you could say in soccer, as we saw that earlier on. We had a, a rare moment when we had Adam State call it, score three goals this morning, which was nice to see with some offensive action. And now the Rio team trying to get something to happen in the box. Now they get a shot and it's blocked out of there as it was going into the box area. And there was only two players in that box. It could have been a one and one showdown, but apparently they got it out of there and protected that goal. Rudy, uh, a wise comment and, and very astute comment by yourself. The, the wind conditions really today are going to inhibit uh, a lot of goals. It's really hard to put the ball on frame. Uh, so you really need to get a little bit closer uh, with the crosswind on the field right now. Uh, the ball really needs to be inside the, the box in order to try and give yourself a good opportunity past the keeper. And, and a lot a lot of things that you want to see now from these ladies is that they want to keep the ball lower to the field and once you get it up and airborne it's going to be taken into a different direction because of the wind and that could be a problem yeah absolutely so uh close quick play uh very very uh tight play uh, especially when you get toward uh the net and uh, or you could possibly have direct play meaning trying to get the breakaway and then uh, of course, get past the keeper that direction. So now we see that Sammy Weiss put it out of bounds. He was going for Lauren Riley, and that's the end of the first half as the Fort Lewis College zero and the Rio Vista club team zero. So we'll take a little break and be back to cover that second half. We want to thank uh, Joel Israel for helping us out a little bit there. We're going to take a little break and be right back. everybody and thank you for joining us here on behalf of the town of Taos, the Taos Sports Alliance and TaosSports.com. Welcome to the showcase for 
the Taos Echo Park, sponsored by the Town of Taos and the Taos Sports Alliance and, of course, TaosSports.com. Here uh, is a premier venue where we have the NCAA Division I, Division II teams come out and play some soccer in a round-robin format. Uh, on the field right now is uh, Fort Lewis University against the Rio Vista team. It's a club soccer team from Albuquerque, New Mexico. And, of course, this is a very short break. That's why we're back on the air very quickly here as the weather has taken a little turn here. It's gotten a little bit colder on us. I have Joel Israel, one of the founders, and, of course, doing some play-by-play -play with me today. And, Joel, thank you, and welcome to the show. Thank you, Rudy. Uh, hello to all the listeners and viewers out there right now. Uh, yeah, it's gotten a little bit colder. <laughs> A little bit of a snow flurry, but <laughs> <laughs> uh, it just makes it that much more fun. And, uh, and talking earlier with McKenna Kimball from the Air Force Academy, I gave her a point question about uh, if this sport is an all-weather sport, and she said, absolutely, they just want to get out here and play the game of soccer. We're in the second half, though, and Joel, this has been a pretty interesting game thus far in that first half of play we saw. Fort Collins and Rio pretty much evenly matched at this point. Nothing, uh, you know, going in either direction. It is a 1-0 to zero game, though, and I, I don't know who scored that. We came off the break, and there was a score scored here, but we don't know who made the goal. I didn't see it myself. Just walked off uh, from taking a break. So it uh, looks as if uh, either a scorekeeper error or we just missed that goal. So uh, apologies to those folks watching. So right now, as we'll try to find that information for you here in a couple of minutes, and uh, the Rio team still under control here with the the ball on the field, and it has gone to some of the players earlier on, and they were talking about being on the field. It felt like they were in slow motion in some instances because of the the wind was so high. And Joel and I made some comments about uh, the play on the field in terms of the wind having some problems with the ball. The ball gets a little bit elevated in the air. It's going to take a different direction, Joel. Absolutely. In fact, the ball gets hard as it gets colder. Uh, and these ladies have played a game already today, so uh, they're a little leg weary, I imagine, by now. And, uh, yeah, your body temperature keeps up as you're moving around out there, but the ball's a little bit hard, a little bit more difficult to push around. And uh, I'm certain by now their lungs and, their lungs and legs are... Uh, uh, getting they, heavy. They get a little heavy. <laughs> this is the last game uh, for Fort Lewis for their spring season, so it's probably been a long spring season and definitely a long day for them. So uh, kudos to them for sticking it out. Absolutely. And now the teams on the field are doing very well right now. Uh, still a 1-0 to game here. Got 27 minutes left in the second half of play here, and it's the final period actually and they only play a couple of halves here in this particular round robin uh, exhibitions and actually some of these teams are in their season right now a couple of teams finished their season here in Taos and it's been uh, that kind of we had a couple of teams here today that came into this uh, field undefeated absolutely uh, Highlands was undefeated coming to this point and they did lose their last game to Air Force Air Force came in undefeated and tied one and won their final game against Highlands, so they leave Taos as an undefeated uh, spring season. And of course, on the field right now, Fort Lewis College, the Lady Skyhawks against the Rio Vista club team from Albuquerque, so nice play. Still getting a little, a couple of snow flurries coming from the south, but it doesn't seem like it's going to lit up any and we're just going to deal with it right now. Oh yeah, this just makes it that much more of an atmosphere. A lot more difficult to play in this kind of weather, but I think the challenge is for the ladies and they're up for it. Let me tell you, they're really going after it out there right now. Fort Lewis College on the right wing looking to get something in the box. There's a shot in the box, nothing there. And we're looking for a header there. And they're possibly, nope, that'll go out of bounds. It looked like one of the Fort Lewis Collins girls, Laura Riley, had gotten it off her hand, but apparently they just call it out of bounds and they'll give it over to 
Rio Vista. So Rio Vista with the ball right now. And then Fort Lewis College with the control. They'll get it on the right side to Allison Newitz. And she loses it and it's stolen away. And here comes Rio Vista. Nothing there. And that will go all the way back. And uh oh, goalie will get it just at the last second. Just on the left side of the box. Goalkeeper was quick off her line, which is really smart. Uh, especially in play like this when you're looking for those breakaways. The goalkeeper needs to keep alert. And that was a nice kick by the goalkeeper. Almost went the length of the half of the field. And uh, if you kick it from the other direction, it doesn't go very far because of the wind. So here comes... Uh, Fort Lewis College trying to save it to their goalie, and they do just that. Uh, head her back to the goalkeeper. She's allowed to touch the ball with her hands if her own player uh, heads the ball back to her. But, of course, if the player on her own side kicks the ball back to her, she's not allowed to touch it with her hands. So, uh, for those watching, uh, that's the rule. And here comes the Lady Skyhawks on the right side. This is dangerous. Uh, and they'll get an opportunity at a breakaway here. And then, looks like it was a takedown. No whistle, though. And play continues, and then the ball will roll, and the goalie will pick it up. I'm sure that she'll dribble it out. You know, one interesting thing is that usually in a situation like this, if your team is tired and you're weary, you bunker down, and you play defense, and then you counter when you can, it looks like both teams have two up top, and they're still attacking. So uh, that's really good to see. Uh, a lot of good movement right now by Rio, uh, out to the right side, and uh, let's see if something happens here. Uh, a little bit, a little bit wide. Nice shot there by the Rio team, and the goalie for the Fort Lewis team, Amanda Arasso, will get it out of here. He's going to put it on the field and kick it from there. Let's see what she can put on it. Nice kick there. And header down. Two headers. And then Fort Lewis on the left side will bring it back up. And here comes the Fort Lewis team trying to do something with it. Uh, on the left wing. And backed out to them. And then it's kicked away. And Fort Lewis gets the steal. Goes to the left side. And then it goes out of bounds. Well, they're going to keep it in bounds. Fort Lewis trying to get something to happen. They're a little kick out here to the forward. Then they're going to back it up to the midfielder. Midfielder will send it packing down the line. It goes all the way to the goalkeeper. Rio Vista will clear it. And there's the kick. Back the other direction. 22 minutes and ticking. Away by the goalkeeper from Rio Vista. We just got confirmation, Rudy, that it is a 0 0 game. So, uh, ah, scorekeeper is a little bit cold. Maybe <laughs> finger twitching, who knows? <laughs> I think uh, if anybody's twitching, it's me and you right now. <laughs> yeah, we're facing into the wind, so. It's not so easy, but it, it's, a, it's a lot of fun out here. This is, uh, I, you know, fun. Uh, as an interesting. Indeed, and it's always a good time when you get a chance to see any college team play some soccer, and that's what we've been treated to today uh, with Air Force Academy, Highlands University, Fort Lewis College, and it doesn't get any better than that. Adam State, Lady Grizzlies also on the on the field early on this morning, and they picked up a nice win, three to one over one of the club teams that have shown up today. And this hasn't gotten any better, and it's going to get better as we will continue this next week with the men's part of this opening. Yeah, uh, the first game today was Adam State women's. Uh, Adam State College, uh, the women's team, playing against New Mexico Rush 96. We had 16-year-olds playing against uh, college-age women. So it was definitely a challenge uh, from the get-go. The Adam State women's team did a great job. Uh, definitely uh, took advantage of their opportunities when they had them in the first half. Uh, gained a 3-0 advantage, and then uh, Zoe Hensley uh, from the New Mexico Rush squad was able to put one in the back of the net, but just not enough. Uh, Adam State dominated the team in the game, 
Uh, Fort Lewis is going to put one in the back of the net. It's just a matter of time. Yep, it looks that way to me. There's the corner kick. They love doing that thing. And just off the mark, and I think the win had a little bit to do with that one. They'll re-kick it from that side, and I think the uh, one of the umpires or referees down there decided to call it back. It was premature. He wasn't ready for it. Now here comes the corner kick again. It's a beauty, and it could be a header. Nothing there. And here comes Real Vista trying to come out of there with it. And again, control by Fort Lewis College. And there's another shot. And that's going to float all the way to the back of the goal. Uh, fantastic opportunity there. I mean, we had a shot from 40 yards distance. Nearly went in the upper 90. Uh, that's that's just one of those things where you, you take a shot, you, you put all your power into it, you hope it goes into the net. And uh, the keeper had the, the frame covered, frankly. Those kind of shots, uh, in my experience, can be very deceiving sometimes, especially with the wind. Could take a, an awful long time to get there, and it could fake you, and it goes into the back of the net. So here comes Fort Lewis again, continuing to dominate with this possession of the ball. And here again, right in the middle, nice pass, and it'll back it out. There's somebody open. Oh, just missed that pass as the... Wing was just taking that corner, and then it gets kicked out of bounds. Stays, oh, that will go with Rio Vista. And here we go again with a little bit of that snow. Ah, snow's falling a little bit harder now, but uh, game, game pace has really picked up. Fort Lewis is really bringing it to Rio. Uh, Rio's having a tough time getting it past midfield, and I think the experience of these Fort Lewis players is really shining through at the moment. Again, Rio gets the ball here on the inbound and they will retain it. They'll try to move it to the right side of the field. They'll get the midfielder to try to get it up to that forward. Nothing there and it's again stolen away by Fort Lewis College. And here comes the Fort Lewis it's the Lady Skyhawks. And that one will roll all the way to the goalie. And now the snow has intensified and here comes Rio Vista again, and then again stolen away by Fort Lewis. And that will go back to the goalie once again. Uh, the keeper's definitely keeping Rio in this game, especially in the last 20 minutes, uh, this half meeting. So uh, she's, she's got a good leg, it looks like, that's for sure. <laughs> she got it out there. And now the wind has changed directions on us as the snow going in the other direction now. This is a little bit obscure. Uh, nice cross there by Rio, getting their one opportunity on the counter. And a uh, quick throw by the keeper from the Skyhawks. Looks as if uh, they're going to be going uh, forward and trying a counter of their own. So on the left wing and into the box it goes, and there's a shot. Yeah, it's blocked again by the goalie. Keeper out of her mind right now. I mean, fantastic play by her. Three saves in a row for the goalie for the Rio team. Amazing. And here comes another shot and a oh, just off the mark, off the header. Rio Vista and then clear out this way and then headed back the other direction and then stolen away once again by Fort Lewis College and controlled on this side to get it to the right side and on the wing. Go down here. We're looking for it. Looked like that was off one of the hands and there's a shot and here go oh, just taken away just as the kick was ready to take off great angle by the defender uh, saving the shot and uh, I'm sure the keeper says uh, hey that's enough now uh, we really don't need any more great saves I've proven myself already so again for Lewis College off a corner kick or is it going to be an inbound looks like it's going to be an inbound they'll inbound it on the corner and look for something in the box. Nope, and then it's kicked away again. For Lewis keeping possession, it seems like uh, it's been the mantra of this this half of this team. Uh, let's keep possession, and uh, it's really tough to defend when you're Rio right now. Uh, you're at the end of the second half of your second game. You've been chasing all half, and uh, fortunately uh, for them, the keepers kept them in the game. And again, in the middle in the box, oh, another opportunity off the header and kicked out of bounds by the Rio team. And again, Fort Lewis continuing to dominate the possession on their side of the field on the offense and 
as Joel mentioned earlier, just a matter of time here before these Fort Lewis Lady Skyhawks are going to get something in the back of that net. It could be that, Rudy, and uh, you never know. You never know in soccer, At that's for sure. At the same time, you never know when Rio's going to counter and uh, could go one nothing the other direction. We've got 10 minutes, and it uh, looks like the Skyhawks are at least going to pull out a draw if uh, the momentum keeps going this way or possibly put one in the back of the net for a victory. Joel, the final game of the afternoon is going to be featuring uh, some boys' soccer. Tell us a little bit about that. Well, that's going to be the Adams State men's uh, uh, soccer team versus uh, Rio Vista 94, and uh, that's the 18-year-old boys. So it'll be a similar situation where we have uh, an NCAA team playing a club team from Albuquerque, and there's a goal. There's a goal. There it is. The header off one of the lady, and it looked like it was Lauren Riley on the left side, it looked like to me. I could be wrong, but nonetheless, Fort Lewis College picks up a goal here, and they still have the other goal listed up there. It's 1-0 uh, to zero as far as we know. So Fort Lewis on top here, 1-0 to zero with 9-22 and ticking left in the ballgame. Uh, we could tell it was just a matter of time, uh, or at least you had that feeling anyway. You can never really tell in the game, but... Certainly sitting here, you could tell the momentum was all in uh, Fort Lewis's favor, and the Skyhawks took advantage of that. It was a beautiful cross from the right wing and a wonderful header to put it away past the keeper. And again, really aggressive play here by Fort Lewis, and nice ball movement and nice dribbling there as the snow is in spurts here. It comes and goes. Visibility down to... And here comes another opportunity, and there's a shot. Oh, it's a floater. Doesn't get there. One of those knuckle balls where it hangs up in the air, and it's one of those keepers' worst nightmares. You never really know what it's going to do until it gets into your hands. And here comes the clear away by Rio Vista. Fort Lewis College with the attack now, and Rio Vista trying to keep possession of this thing, trying to get it on their side of the field to try to get something offensively going for them. And here's the shot, uh, cleared out again. Rio Vista with an opportunity now. And then down goes one of the Rio Vista players and Fort Lewis back on the attack. Looks like Fort Lewis is gonna try and put this game away rather than just sitting on the ball. Uh, end their preseason with uh, a flourish here. And, yep. And, and, you know, I mean, kudos to them. They could easily sit back, but they're really putting on a show for the crowd. And the ball will rotate all the way down and picked up by the goalie for Fort Lewis. And she'll send it out quickly. She'll get it out into Mancha. And Mancha will try to do something with it. She'll go to the middle of the field and go to the left side. They'll cross field it. And Rio Vista will come up with the steal. And they're looking for one of their players, one of the forwards, to do something. And then it's kicked out of bounds there out of her hand. And it'll go out of bounds, but Rio Vista will keep possession on their side of the field. And then they can make a run here as it is down to seven minutes left in this particular ball game. And Fort Lewis College doing their thing, trying to get control again. Uh, give and go there for one of the ladies. And the Skyhawks again on their side of the field on the offense. And the wind has switched yet again. Uh, you know, having said that, it's hard to say which which end the the wind is given advantage to which team. Uh, one thing I know is that Rio's not quitting. Uh, they've got a lot of heart. Certainly, it's it's very obvious they want an equalizer, and uh, they're going to push forward definitely in the next five minutes to try and get that. So again, Rio Vista and the. Fort Lewis College Lady Skyhawks doing battle right now. Six minutes, 13 ticks, and ticking away. So a player change now for Rio Vista. And the Lady Skyhawks from Fort Lewis College will inbound it here. Sorry. <laughs> Get a little wire across my neck. <laughs> I have a neck burn for that one. Indeed. So again, the Fort Lewis 
Lady Skyhawks up on top here, one to zero, as they continue to dominate the possession of the ball right now, all the way down the left side, and this is a dangerous area for the Rio Vista team, and there's a shot just blocked out of there, and another shot, and that's a floater, and that will go out of bounds. Uh, kudos once again to the Rio back line, they're really uh, holding their own. Uh, so the back line and the keeper really keeping Rio in this game. So here we go as the goalie for Rio Vista will clear this thing away. And a nice kick. A header. Two headers. And a kick. And control by Fort Lewis. And here comes off the left side again. This is where they scored last time. And into the box we go, and it just blocked out of there. Again, here comes Fort Lewis on the left side. Again, they're going to try the same thing in succession, but doesn't happen. And this will, will be controlled by the Rio Vista team. They'll get it way down here. And that will probably and will be out of bounds and quickly in bounds they go. Interesting, the quick throw and it just proves that Fort Lewis isn't sitting back, wasting time. Really going for that second and, and clinching goal. Uh, it impresses me, you know, I mean, you've been through a long, long season, a spring season, and you're in the last game of, last moments of, of two games of the day uh, after a long season and they're still moving forward. It's, it's just a testament to their Certainly their heart, legs, and lungs. Yeah, absolutely, especially in this kind of weather. Under these conditions, they are playing their hearts out for us. So again, Rio Vista trying to get something happening here late in this ball game as they try to get something inside here. And again, Fort Lewis not having any part of that. They're playing very well, trying to keep the ball, trying to control it. And they do just that, and they will clear it out. Here comes the weather from another direction. Interesting swirling wind, to say the least. And uh, This time it looks a little darker than it's been. A little bit challenging, <laughs> I think is the word. So three minutes left in the ball game. It's a 1-0 lead for Fort Lewis over the Rio Vista club team from Albuquerque. Well, the wind change has just given Rio maybe a little bit of life. We've got just under three minutes left. And if they're going to mount any type of attack, maybe Mother Nature's on their side. So now the Fort Lewis team trying to keep this thing together for them to see if they can pull out the win. And they will continue to do some passing on the inside, back outside on a give and go. Nothing there. And here comes the pass on the right side had that wing lady on the forward didn't get there in time but she will pick it up pass it in quickly and keep the play going here as we're down to about two minutes left in the game and Fort Lewis is going to go ahead and keep this on the outside trying to put a play together to try to get this thing into the goal so there they come on the right side stole it away and then some battling going on. Then a penalty here off a push off the back, it looks, apparently. And Rio Vista will get it back here with 1.48 left. Yeah, that's tough. Uh, Fort Lewis and the Skyhawks giving up a, a free kick to Rio, uh, giving them an opportunity to gain possession, which they do here uh, for the moment, anyway. And the Skyhawks come back. Uh, not allowing that. They say not today. No, sorry. <laughs> Nice analysis, Joel. I like that. And then the ball is quickly this way with Rio, and then there's an open, and it's going to be, and let's see if we don't get an offside here. It's going to be a nice pass on the inside. Could be a possible something. And then it's cleared out quickly. Fort Lewis with the pass on a give and go. That was beautifully done. And then they will kick this one on the other side, and, and that helps the clock run a little bit. That was unintentional, but... Nonetheless, if you kick it that far, it'll make the clock run a little bit. Well, uh, just as we said a moment ago, it was uh, the free kick that gave uh, Rio a little bit of momentum there and looked a very dangerous opportunity there on the left side. Uh, a little bit behind as far as the pass. 
Otherwise, maybe Rio could have put the equalizer in the back of the net. Uh, just under a minute now, I think that might have been their last opportunity. But, uh, heck of an effort there, really. The girls didn't quit. Oh. Thank you. So here we go again, the final seconds of this game here between the Fort Lewis... Oh, and, and a box Oh, and then a score at the end! 16 seconds, Joel! <laughs> <laughs> Just as I said, you don't want to give the opportunity to the other team, and Rio equalizes with 15 seconds left. What a fantastic, uh, what a fantastic game this has been. Hi, <laughs> everyone. Oh, in the snow, that was really a fantastic goal. Definitely was. Let me tell you, this has been an experience today. Here at the end of the game, the Rio Vista comes out and scores a a goal as the game was about to finish, so we got a tie here, one to one. Uh, fantastic game. Adam State passing us just now. They're gonna give us a good show in the snow. <laughs>